morning, folks, and welcome to another trailer reaction on Movie Madness with Macca B. And for this one, we're going to be checking out the third Conjuring movie, The Devil Made Me Do It. It's been quite a while since I've done a trailer reaction on the channel. So hey ho, let's go and get into this. Jesus. Oh shit. He's gonna be in spot trouble. Hurt this is Ed Warren. He's on the block. Alright, let's get started. Residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the broad daylight. These films always make me a bit uh, a bit scared as a kid. Fuck he's a teen kid as well. The existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. Whatever was going on, whatever happened that day, that was not Arnie. It's a witch's totem. We think your family was cursed. Still getting the same dark tones as usual. Still Happy days. Hard. Interested in reality, but I can see things that your people can't. <laughs> Something terrible happened here. Master Satan is not mm -hmm. an adversary to take it lightly. She's doing it again. She's reaching out to the darkness. Lori, you need to come back. You're saving him worth everything you have. Yeah. You're getting the shivers. Getting them shivers. Getting them shivers. Did you want to go for a swim? All right. Okay, now she's definitely going for a swim. Ooh, that was... That was creepy. Also, I just have to say, because they keep copyrighting me, Warner Brothers owns possession of this trailer. All rights go to Warner Brothers. I do not claim any possession. And not the kind of possession that we seem to be seeing in the film trailer. Just saying. In case I want to copyright me yet again. Anyhow, let's get on with it. That look creepy as a motherfucker. I ain't gonna mince words, I'm just gonna say how it is. That look creepy as a motherfucker. But I'm looking forward to it. I remember seeing the first two, um, well, well, years back, obviously, when they came out. Those, those in Insidious and Annabelle. Ugh. I know Annabelle was a spin-off for the Conjuring Universe, but God damn, was that a freaky-ass film. Ugh. I did a 10-second review on it. Go check it out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not, to be honest, the biggest horror fan, which is weird, but given my Funko Pop collection is actually the biggest horror section. But hey ho. But yeah, I do like I like a film that can get the heart going once in a while. And I for me, the films I've seen most of the films in the Conjuring Universe, not all of them, but most of them. I'd say they've always been fairly consistent in one sense or another of being able to make me get my heart going and make me jump and scream like a little bitch once in a while. Not often, but once in a while, you never know. Gotta get that in there. But yeah, I'm definitely <laughs> I'm definitely going to be checking this one out, so expect a future reaction trailer, a future trailer reaction if there's any additional trailers, or a future review or something of it on the channel. It looks like it's going to be a decent film, very well made, and I'm glad that they're still keeping with the same original cast, you know, to keep continue, uh, what was it, continuity? To keep continuity and everything. 
So, happy days on that one. But that was everything I had for you in this one, folks. It's been a while since I've done one of these trailer reactions, but these things happen. So, if there's any other trailer reactions you want to see, any films you want to see reviews of, or anything movie, television, media, or well, any kind of related at this point you want to see, drop a comment down below and I shall see what I can do about it. I think I said see about 20 times then. But until next time, folks, because that was everything, stay safe, have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, or whatever the hell it is, wherever the hell you are. Big Mac and me, out.